What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the word. Yo, yo, yo. As word. always, off to my right, we got Filthy Smalls. Holding it down in the middle is Robbie D. That's me. You didn't say anything. You, th- you threw me. <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I am your host, C-O-D-Y. Once again, we are sponsored by Soundcheck, where Denver bands and musicians practice their passion. Soundcheckdenver.com. And if you're feeling what we bring to the table each and every week, don't forget to like and subscribe. And jump yes. in the comment section to drive that engagement so we can keep spreading the word. Each episode, we lead off with a weekly highlight. This week, we're going to once again debut another new segment where we ponder one of humanity's everlasting questions, and we found a very 2005 video for the Late Night Deep Cut. Like I said, the weekly highlight, we recently turned our calendars from 2021 to 2022, but that doesn't mean we're done with 21. To keep up with the two, though, we're highlighting a recent double feature from 21 Savage. 21 Sandwich. D- 21 <laughs> Savage. See, Fil- <laughs> Filthy's going to be tripping me up. I- I'm going to keep saying 21 Sandwich, too. But, uh, hey, 21 Savage, forgive, it, forgive us. It's all in good fun. <laughs> this is No Debate slash Big Smoke. Definition of debate That's right there. I might have to Whoa. debate that. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. This crack yeah. going backwards Whoa. on his bike, bro. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Niggas go to switching sides. Bitches go to switching sides. My little brother walking on crutches, but he's still a ride. I can't find the words to describe what I feel inside. Go against the gang. You ain't heard. That's like suicide. I ain't gonna lie. 21 sandwich got some. That's how we yeah. slide. some bars, bro. Bitch again, nigga. We don't care about who done died. Go to war with everybody if my crew decide. Ain't no fucking middle nigga better choose a side. No respect He's a little more Instagram. energetic on this side than usual here. He was talking crazy, caught him lacking at a gas pump. Started oh, no. one and high. He's still, and he still got that super useful feel, though. Shots out of Draco, ain't no chaser, got yeah. his ass drunk. Sure. Every time my voice come on the beat, that shit got mad bump. Nudy smoking feet is funk. Check the score, they ass Funny, he's got the retro the NBA switch, game in the dumb. background. This, 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 me, this, this has a 1999 like feel to it. You know, you used to go around with a camcorder, just record our daily lives. Just watch it back. Yeah. And they probably, oh, he yeah. probably got a hold of one of those old cameras and like, let's just go around today and make a video, bro. Could be it. Pretty easy, pretty simple. I ask him for the clarity. I just want my girl to hold me down and not embarrass me. Treat me how you treat your Birkin bags, baby, cherish me. Or, or somehow this was recorded back in the 90s. Somehow 21 Savage looks exactly like he did 22 years ago. Knowing if I turn Need that remedy because we all getting older. I ain't yeah. want to jump inside the streets, but they grab me. No, you want me back, but bitch, you play me when you had me. Gotta make it home. I, Come on, I think everybody's been sleeping on 21 Sandwich because he's got some bars. Yeah, it's pretty, it's put some bars, but it's like super slow. And put them all in place. It's all good. I know niggas envy. I know niggas hate. Shots out the Drake go, put them in his face. You must have been motivated to get new, fresh rhymes out there since you got to court it. Must, oh, yeah. must be must be pretty motivated these past couple of months. Trying to, try to stay around this time. Yeah, because yeah, he's paying because he got locked in the country. Because obviously he's from Britain, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but that one was that one was pretty good. That look at they're playing some cards. He can't even shuffle. You see that? But oh yeah, that one is like you're bumping when you're alone, bro. Cause it's slow, not turning me up that much. It's part of big old fatty. Oh yeah. So next time you're you're dealing at the card game, are you gonna be bumping this in the background? Yeah. Keep everything nice and calm, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean I like the beat. The beat is pretty dope. Your favorite long ass yeah. outros? Y'all know what it is. You ready? Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what you see. Oh big smoke. 
All right, so second on the double feature. Hey, the same little camera feature. Savage. Not sandwich. Savage. Oh. Hey, <laughs> double clip. One in a tilt whenever I slide. He exposed his hand, talking to hold the kill to his guy. I had a low you, rage, but he did the strip club video. You really feel like I'm pissed out standing in the street. Nigga, Gotta and hit up the strip club. Remember the day we were struggling hard. Oh, I feel like he's wasting money right cry. there. I got on my ass, I hit me a little bit. <laughs> it's it's a staple, bro. It's a staple. Slaughter gang, nigga, I slaughter your daughter. You go against me, you gonna die. I'm a godfair man, but for my brother, I'll get on that stand and lie. Straight the pot. We'll get that fall to the lock. Trapping with a lot of ones there, there fellas. <laughs> That's like his whole paycheck. I fell in love with this dog. Like my whole paycheck. Okay. Why, why do you think I'm still in this rat hole apartment? I'll go do a whole because I gotta go big at the club, man. My auntie for some money, but she back to smoking the rocks. I don't know if I like this song or hate this song, bro. That, I, I'd lean towards love it. Personally. Big smoke. Yeah, I like it, bro. It's that new school shit. Big smoke. This one got better video than the other one though. Big smoke. Video is pretty dope. Big smoke. Big smoke. Bro, that's probably his strip club. Who you telling on? Desert, he's probably in his own strip club. And they come he owns that one. The Savage I mean, Club. Then they get his sign right there. No. Throwing your own dollars in your own strip club because it comes right back to you. Hell yeah. <laughs> Looking like a player, but you know you just paint yourself up. <laughs> I'm feeling it. But this this one has an old school feel to it though. Yeah, it's a little a little rough around the edges. He'll do it. Panic, that fofo came in handy. I shot up out the jammy. They took him to the station. I think he finna stand me. I'm gonna get some straightening about all my smoke, nigga. The video is dope, but it's not like too complicated of a video though. I just sold mid and gas. I probably told your folks, nigga. Yeah, that, that's that, that, that's the uh, guy spying on him through the ceiling. Posting on Parkway. That's the homie that didn't get into the club. Yeah. He got it brought in. He's gonna rat rat all those guys out to their women. Straight to the gunplay. I got engaged to the street. Look, look at what is going on in Twenty One Savages Club. Still on the runway. I I'm with it. This, this song's pretty dope. They gonna die one day. Better take your ass inside the house and do what your mom say. You fucking with the wrong photographer. You gonna be on the front page. Big smoke. Big smoke. But he ain't spitting oh, bars like he was in the last big one. Smoke, no. Big smoke. Got a whole lot of big smoke. Big but smoke. It's, ain't no running front. Sounds good with the beat though. Nice and slow smoke. though. Bullets raining on them. Bust the rhymes. Flip mode. Who you telling on? Yeah, yeah, tempo's definitely slower. And they coming for and shoot But I'd be going fast on it, probably. You be spending some rapid fire right there? They Always, bro. No, they probably just got that sign made and just takes it everywhere. Else. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I got, let me let me let the neon sign warm up. Give me a second. <laughs> that Big Smoke one was pretty good, bro. It was better than the other one. Filthy neon sign, and Filthy's gonna carry it everywhere with him. We we gonna do green for your one, just filthy, filthy, filthy right. for life. That was twenty one savage once again with the double feature. That's that's why we wanted to do the weekly highlight because that's mixing it up a little bit. That was two songs that were pretty much pretty dissimilar to each other, I guess. Pretty pretty s uh, unique situation of doing two songs in one video, two videos in one clip on YouTube. That's that's mixing it up. That's the new the new format for the new year. We'll see. Sure, I'm down to do one. Back to back videos. Back to back videos. Bro. Look out for the back to back videos. You let us gonna... know. Let us know if you want us to do the back to back videos. Yeah, that's that's kind of the uh Kendrick Lamar vibe of uh where suddenly one song does a quick transition and suddenly it's a different song. But that's one song. This is just two songs in one video. Two for the price of one. Bling, bling, ding. No wonder 21 Savage has so much spare money to open up a club on his own. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, he's thrifty. He's, he's just holding it down with this, you know, money-saving, money saving, cutting corners, being crafty and thrifty. And just holding it down like that. 
With a 1994 camera? Yeah. Yeah, you, they Bet. probably got that motherfucker at the thrift store, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> Definitely. Bet. And, and the, the trap beat, so we're a little slower, but you still a little bit of the trap going on. Yeah, it makes you... For big smoke. Yeah, it makes you feel pretty good, like you want to go do some crazy kind of, bro. This one goes out for the hood. All right. That is our weekly highlight, 21 Savage, with the double feature, no debate, big smoke. Any, any other thoughts on that before we move on? No, not really, bro. Did he get the dope stamp or not? Nah? It's like a half a dope stamp. Half a stamp. So they half just, a stamp. We got half the stamp. Half stamp. It's just getting the D. It's yeah, just getting the D stamp. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we wanted to start a new segment where we pull up a video, a song, a viral post by a rapper. You know, just something miscellaneous. A segment where we talk about something that made us go, what the fuck? <laughs> so back last may machine gun kelly dropped a video for his song love race and despite being a pretty big mgk guy filthy seems to have missed this or at least is lying about his knowledge of it so okay okay let me explain this for you guys i used to be huge into machine gun kelly but that was back when he was actually rapping and getting it in and actually spitting bars but when he started doing this punk rock thing he just fell off, and I don't even follow him at all. None of his new shit. To be honest, he's more like a BB gun Kelly now, bro. <laughs> Soft. What the fuck? So, <laughs> I mean, if you sell out to make money, I guess your hardcore rap fans are not going to like it. Yeah, that's that's a risky take. But uh, Robbie D wanted to backtrack and take a closer look at uh, this new musical approach by MGK. So, I mean, I ain't going to lie. I'm probably going to sell out and fucking make a shit ton of money and I don't care. Make that money, <laughs> homie. Fuck hey, it. You got to secure the bag. That's that's the theme for 2022. So, I mean, the reason why I picked this video is because, one, it's the only news video I could find of MGKs. So, what the fuck, MGK, dude? That's all I got to say. Is what, like, the that's, <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, you, you used to be like one of the dopest rappers. Facts. Five ten years ago, now fucking Eminem puts you in your place, and yeah. So we're gonna take a look back at MGK featuring Kellen Quinn. This is Love Race. Have a good time at camp, sweetie. (laughs) What the fuck, dude? (laughs) <laughs> Look at oh. that grill. This is not rap. By the way, guys. <laughs> Former rapper MGK. <laughs> this is what this is what made me go, what the fuck? Look at him, what the fuck? I mean, I like punk rock music, but it's not that good to me. I guess he's not a wild boy anymore, huh? No, definitely not. Just ruined his guitar, bro. Nah, he's pulling a Kodak Black and pretend playing it. Now, at least he put on a guitar strap with it on my Kodak Black. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Yeah, me and my lady started referring to him as um, Crybaby Kelly because he's always crying on his new shit, bro. Max. <laughs> the girls at the campfire looking at each other like, what the fuck? <laughs> but I mean, back when we were in high school, the punk was way different. Are you sure? sure? It, I mean, it, I think it sounded a little like this. Well, maybe. I don't know. I just th- not feeling it. It's because it's MGK. You're used to him rapping. So fast and actually saying some shit. Oh, we got the gator. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. What the fuck? God was a girl. The devil wore a t-shirt. Who 
Who is this fool though? That must be Callan Quinn. I, I remember past episodes we mentioned uh, some emo rock. Oh, this yeah, is what yeah. this is going towards, I think so. Yeah, this is definitely emo punk. I'm gonna give me one of those fucking jackets, bro. Jackets with the zippers. With the spikes on the arm. Oh, okay. Hey, if I ever start wearing pink like that, please beat me up. I mean, we're probably gonna be wearing jackets like that because, like I mentioned, we're we're gonna sell out. And <laughs> yeah, like I said, 2022 is about securing the bag. If if the bag has written on there, secure with pink t-shirt. I mean, all right, y'all might see me in a pink t-shirt. Hey, I can make some punk rock music like this. So if we switch up our music in a couple years, you know why? Yeah, you definitely know why. Because they're paying us to do it. <laughs> we about that money, right? Whoa! Oh, shit. So we got the slasher oh, okay. film. Slasher film vibes in that one, too. Premise of the video. What, what do we th- what do we think about at least the premise of the video, the slasher film? Yeah. Hey. I like it. That's pretty cool. Camp Crystal Lake vibes. I like it. Emo. What is that? <laughs> emo Point. They that, went, that's they the, the camp. <laughs> that's the band camp that they mentioned in the video. The emo Point. That's why they're all like that. But it, I like the premise, and it's a good video. But I just don't fuck with Machine and Kelly's new music, bro. So, yeah, it's... You know, I, I, I'm the rock guy here. Back in 2013, Machine Gun Kelly actually opened for Corn at at first bank center and i just missed the set so lucky you yeah i just what do you what do you think about this thing this song i don't know because i like like you guys are getting at i thought machine gun kelly was a rapper so when i saw him on the bill for corn back then it's like wait a minute mgk huh I mean, there's plenty of rappers that will Corn's worked with a lot of hip hop artists. So yeah. I mean. So I'm just wondering. I'll, I'll have to go back and look at that. Did he did he open up with a band, and was that like his first dipping the toes in to the rock scene? And then did he like completely fumble the bag while securing the bag, and to <clears> go <throat> the sellout path is like okay, let me let me go retro emo with this and uh, get a whiny voice singer on my track and go from there. It, give me the money and I'll do it right now, bro. And the other thing is, <laughs> so, so I'll, I'll handle this one since both of you are married. But it also got him Megan Fox too. So I don't know. No, we, you got it backwards. Megan Fox made him do this shit. She's like, I'm gonna fucking leave you if you don't fucking do this shit. I think we're we're gonna have to do some fact checking on that. I'm not too too sure about that timeline, but I'm just like, what the fuck. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck, bro? For real, for real. And, and just to give us a little bit of uh, hater club vibes, you, you know, I see Megan Fox and uh, Machine Gun Kelly. With all due respect, I I just look at that like it's a uh, Walmart brand Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee. <laughs> <laughs> that one picture, that one picture they took, they did look pretty drugged out, bro. Oh, yeah. They they were not in this ozone at all. It wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me, you know. I mean, you know, hey, you know, you know what this one gets, bro? This one gets the what the fuck stamp, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so that that's that's the premise of this new segment. Just just to bring this stuff out, bring it to the light. Like I said, some of some of the audience out there, some some of us here, we we had no idea that this even existed, and now we're just looking, until today, we're looking at it right now in 2022, and just asking what the fuck. It almost hurts my feelings because I really, really loved all of Machine Gun Kelly's. Well, all of his old shit, I still fuck with it, bro. But once he switched over, what the fuck, bro? I don't know. It remains to be seen going forward in the future. Can Machine Gun Kelly turn it around? Maybe he, maybe he dumps Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly r- runs back to rap. We'll, we'll, we'll see. 
No, nah, he's going to switch to country because he's going to be sad. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to get his heart broken. <laughs> Every year he's just going to jump to a new genre. We're, 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 we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll keep our eyes on that. But, you know, this this is a hip-hop podcast, The Word. Like I always say, our episodes lean on continuity. We were just looking around and asking, what the fuck? And a character in this next video looks around, looks out of her window and asks, what the fuck? It's time for another late night deep cut. Yeah. Woo! This is a video from 2005, and in my opinion, really looks like 2005. This is Preacher. Shake that shit. <sighs> yeah, definitely 2005. <laughs> I like. I like this. Is like programming. <laughs> That that intro, like this, is the version he sent to a record label. <laughs> That's his block that he lives on. That preacher has every young girl in the neighborhood in that house. Abner, would you look at what that girl is wearing? Her whole butt is hanging out. Lord have mercy. Mm-hmm. Oh, he like it. <laughs> girl, 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 I miss 2005. That was that was a good time to be alive. Where I just got locked up for. Uh, okay, maybe not for real. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I was getting locked up in 2005 too. So. All these old videos are they just make it simple. Let's throw a party and film it. I mean, that's the way it was back in the day. Throw a party, make a video. Well, they're probably getting to party anyway, so might as well record it. Fuck it. This one definitely takes you back with the feel of it, though. Real. I like the uh, suburbia vibe of that house too. It really adds to the intro of like, yeah, these, these, this dude really lives right next to this white family. <laughs> no, but for real, the neighbors are probably looking out the window like, are you serious? What are they recording over there? In the rain? Like, we had we had white flight just to get this in 2005. Like, what the? Hey, it started raining. He's like, you bitches go out there and dance in the rain. Yeah, I'm being taken way back right now. House parties back in the day. Is this in the backyard too? Really? I would have been passed out somewhere. All faded. Hey, I'm pretty sure he has a 40 too, you know? You know that's some Hennessy or something? Is that Hennessy? Oh, shit. That takes me back to... Oh, fuck. I remember walking around all the parties with just a bottle of Hennessy in my hand. Or the... Oh, Anything is possible. <laughs> hey, she's trying to work on her taxes, preacher. Can't sleep with all this noise. Good night. He's gonna go over there, bro. For sure. Hey, Preacher Man, you just got that guy divorced, bro. There's <laughs> over one party. And the overall vibe of the song is 2005 as well. Yeah, definitely the vocal delivery, that that new age, that new wave southern rap back in those days. And kind of like an aggressive screaming style. Yeah. It's just hit. You get it in, though. Yeah. Let's, 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 let's scope out the scene, man. Oh, there, do you see the neighbor in the background? In the bushes? It's a creeper, bro. I guess he really is preaching it, huh? Hey, he's telling them to shake that shit in the rain, too, bro. 
Make all the dollars you can make. Yeah. Shake, shake. Make it bounce up and down when I shake. I love these low budget videos. Hell yeah, bro. They just throw a party in my crib, let's record it, and then mix that shit, huh? Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. oh, oh, damn. He's gonna get divorced for oh, sure. Yeah. But he's loving it though. He's like, fuck it, this house has been my name anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's fucked up. That's the real homeowner's house. Look, he caught a heart attack, bro. <laughs> You've never been around that many thick girls at the same time. Oh shit. Hey, but that shake, that shit, definitely gets the dope stamp. That was you, dope. You're, you ready to shake a dope stamp on that? That one gets the dope stamp shooking on it. All right. <sighs> That's pretty good. It takes me back to a lot of house parties. Yeah, a lot of, lot of back n- the memories. So. A lot of nostalgia going on that one. Shit, what? that shit. We definitely went backwards in time from 2005 to 2018. Robbie's lost in time right now. Like he, he you can see it in his eyes. Like house parties, bro. Uh, they're oh, just f- back, back in the day Woo! vibes. Just, do you know where you're at right now? House party. <laughs> Physically, he's here. <laughs> Man, Mentally, he's there. All right, so we we might need to join Robbie D in, on a different mental wave. So let let's just go ahead and call call it a night, fellas. Oh, we finally made it through another one. Can you yeah. believe this, bro? So we, we we're just marching on twenty twenty two, just going and doing our thing, man. That's the word for this week. Like I said, like and subscribe. Please do, please do. If you have any suggestions for an old school, preferably raunchy video, because that's late night deep cut vibe we're looking for. Or (laughs) any what the fuck moments or anything, let us know about those too for sure. Oh yeah, especially if there's there's something out there rap-wise, hip-hop-wise that made you go what the fuck, share it with us. So we can gaze on it, too, and ask what the fuck and then share it with everybody else. So let us know on that, too. So like I always say, Robbie D really put us on the eight ball with some contractual obligations. I have a feeling I missed a bunch of the cues on this one. You fucked it up. Somebody's getting fired. Oh, my God. Well, I'm not getting paid, so what? I don't care. So whatever. (laughs) (laughs) That's our episode. Thanks for joining us. We out. Peace.